Hello and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. In case you have any questions, please send us an email to info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Thank you and enjoy the podcast. Hello and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. We are here once again with Dr. Sarah Fiorello. How are you, Dr. Very well, Luis. Thank you so much. How are you today? Um, I'm perfect, but it's a little cold today in Guatemala. Yes, sunny, but a little chilly. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not as cold as the United States or Canada, but uh, this is a little chilly for me. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have an um, interesting topic today, as always, and um, this is something related to all the men out there, uh, something that we need to look into. And the topic today will be erectile dysfunction. Is that correct, Doctor? Correct. Correct. So, uh, what is er- erectile dysfunction in technical terms, Doctor? So, erectile dysfunction is when um, there is an inability to sustain an erection during intimacy or any sort of sexual activity. Um, there are various different causes of it, um, which we'll go into um, very shortly. However, in not so technical terms, it's basically an in, in, uh, uh, an inability to maintain uh, and sustain an erection. So, um, what are the conditions that may cause erectile dysfunction? Mm-hmm. There are various different causes. So, there are physical causes as well, uh, physical and organic causes, as well as mental, emotional, psychological causes. So, it's really important to be able to differentiate between the two. Yeah, so can you mention a, a few conditions that may cause uh, erectile dysfunction? Yes, so let's start with the physical. Uh, um, in regards to the physical um, aspect and perhaps the anatomy, uh, that part of the body that um, uh, uh, causes or inefficiency of that part of the body to maintain an erection, that can be caused by blood vessel issues, so cardiovascular disease, atherosclero- uh, atherosclerotic plaques, um, circulation issues um, with diabetes, for instance, where blood vessels are affected, nerve damage um, from perhaps diabetes or perhaps um, a surgery gone wrong in many cases, prostate surgeries, things like that. Um, uh, and so usually it has to do with a blood, uh, a blood flow problem, a nerve problem. And then on the other hand, the inorganic um, uh, causes, which can be psychological, emotional, uh, where there's relationship problems or uh, just that, um, uh, that inability psychologically to uh, have and maintain an erection due to also stress and um, and sadness or depression or medications even. So um, so I, I suppose you got to find out the root of the cause before you do the treatment. Is exactly, that, correct? that is really important. Uh, another aspect I forgot to mention is hormonal issues. So a low testosterone or perhaps a high estrogen in men. Um, and yes, so it's very very important that we do a proper screening. Uh, with blood work, with a good history in order to um, deduce what is the root cause of the problem and address the root cause uh, along with other other aspects of, of addressing the issue. O- obesity may cause also um, this problem? Absolutely. Obesity, a sedentary uh, lifestyle where um, uh, it, it affects our overall well-being, alcohol as well, drug use. Um, I mentioned certain medications and smoking as well. Smoking can inhibit uh, blood flow to uh, in in the blood vessels in general. Um, so uh, a lot of various uh, different causes um, that can affect our health and um, the erectile uh, dysfunction. And what is like the conventional conventional method that um, that the medical uh, world out there offers to these type of issues? Yes. You know, typically um, uh, conventional medicine just jumps to treating with medications such as uh, Viagra, Cialis, uh, Sildenafil. These are all medications that help with the blood flow to that part of the area, uh, part of the body. However, in many cases, it's not a blood flow or a blood uh, circulation problem. And so those address the, the blood flow 
However, uh, in a lot of cases, it's not uh, the problem. So again, getting down to the root cause of the problem and uh, stimulating the body to heal itself in, instead of just covering up the symptoms with the medication is, is key. And why is this stem, stem cell therapy an option to um, treat this um, condition? <laughs> yes, you know, it, because stem cell therapy, again, gets to the root cause of the problem. So let's just say, for instance, we have a, uh, a patient with diabetes and they come in with erectile dysfunction. Um, the really um, important aspect to consider here in our approach is that we will address the diabetes um, in order to address the erectile dysfunction. Because if we just jump to um, the symptom and not treat the root cause, then we are not accomplishing anything. It'll be a temporary fix and you know, you have that uh, revolving door. And we don't want that. We want to address the blood sugar issue. We want to address um, the blood vessel uh, problems. So if there is, uh, if there are blood vessels and nerves that are damaged because of high blood sugar and chronic blood sugar, we want to, first of all, address the, the cause and try to regenerate and fix the damage that's been done. So it's really important that we have this two-pronged approach. So we want to address, um, again, the cause and then try to fix um, in uh, concurrently the problem that's been created by uh, the, the degeneration that's caused. So we have to address it in, in, uh, in that multifactorial way in order to do the best possible job and have the best results. If it's um, a blood pressure issue, you will address that as well, right? That's right. So when we have cardiovascular disease, um, blood, high blood pressure, when uh, and these, you know, blood vessels are involved. So in many cases, we have atherosclerotic plaques. We have uh, basically um, narrowing of the arteries and blood vessels. So blood flow is impeded. Uh, uh, that again. Uh, uh, affects the capacity of that part of the anatomy to fill and flush with the blood that causes the actual mechanistic reaction of the of the penis to have a an erection for the, because of the blood flow, and so when that is compromised due to high blood pressure um, and medications and atherosclerotic plaques, we need to address those um, uh, causes in order to fix the erectile dysfunction. And what will be the impact of people suffering from erectile dysfunction in their lives? Oh, yes. That's, you know, that's a really important uh, uh, question to address because we have, uh, you know, these types of um, uh, conditions can affect self-esteem. It can affect intimacy and relationships. Um, it, it's so important, uh, you know, as part of a relationship, Intimacy is such a big part of and quality of life. Uh, it's such a big part of relationships. And so um, it's, it's very, very important that we address uh, this thing. And it's not just a carnal, um, you know, a, a, a lust or a carnal desire. It's, it's about quality of life and, and relationships. And uh, so, yes, it's, it's important that we address these things. And with, with the stem cells, when we talk about regeneration, we are talking about uh, causing an, infl an anti-inflammatory effect that uh, because of inflammation that's been caused with high blood pressure, um, atherosclerotic plaques, so on and so forth. And we also talk about angiogenesis. So with stem cells, we can create um, new blood vessels in order to have uh, a better uh, reaction to, um, to, the uh, blood flow. to the blood flow. Yeah. Exactly. So there are so many. And then when we have nerve damage, the stem cells help to regenerate the nerve. So we can address uh, these problems with stem cells very, very effectively. Even though I know the answer, I will have to ask you, how do you apply these stem cells? Because is it locally? 
A very good question, Louise. We do it uh, a couple of different ways. So we will apply the stem cells locally. Absolutely. We, I believe in getting the stem cells. With anesthesia, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So it'll be done with anesthesia. In many cases, it'll be done with a very um, uh, short-acting sedation and keep the patient very comfortable. And um, so that'll be done locally because it's important that we apply the stem cells as locally as possible as well as into the blood uh, through an IV. So the stem cells go everywhere the blood flows, um, including uh, the penis in this case. And, um, and because most likely when there's cardiovascular disease, uh, when there's diabetes, if there is damage to one area of the body, there is very, very uh, likely damage to other, other organs and other parts of the body. So we get this over total body effect by placing the stem cells into the blood, and we ensure that it goes where the blood flows, including the penis, and then the local injections that address that local circulation as well as any uh, local nerve damage uh, that might have occurred uh, due to uh, various different causes, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, do you do this treatment by yourself, doctor? Or do you have uh, like a team, of, an, well, an ur urologist with you? Absolutely, yes. We have our team of specialists um, that are that specialize in their respective fields. In this case, we would have um, an anesthesiologist, of course, for uh, the anesthetic and sedative. We will have a urologist um, on board in order to do the local injections. Um, myself, who is the regenerative and stem cell specialist that uh, does the stem cells as well as uh, all of the all, uh, other alternative and regenerative care, uh, IVs and so on and so forth. And so we have our, our very comprehensive team that do a, a very, very uh, good job in their respective field. And final question, doctor, is there any pain and recovery time? There is very, very minor um, pain in regards to the post-treatment, um, post uh, sort of um, a little bit of swelling, there is uh, maybe a little bit of soreness, but which is very, very easily controlled with mild um, uh, painkillers like Tylenol, things like that. We don't want to take away so much of the inflammation because that's part of the healing process. So we use Tylenol and acetaminophen and any um, uh, anything that's not an NSAID or a, a, that won't suppress the inflammation that we actually want to occur. Recovery time? Recovery time, days, uh, if anything, yes. And we have, awesome. yes, we have patients going back to normal activity within a couple of days. And, um, and, it, and it's just a matter of picking and choosing activities. Like we probably don't want a patient on a, on a bike too soon mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for obvious reasons, um, but uh, very, very quick recovery. So there you have it, folks. Uh, there is an option. There is... Um, a solution in case you suffer from erectile dysfunction. And I don't know if I missed anything here, doctor, if you want to add something else to this podcast. Um, I, perhaps we can just touch on our comprehensive approach of um, doing a workup with, uh, with the stem cells. So again, not only do we, we do a very thorough screening and history, we do a little bit of a detox program, we do growth hormone uh, or um, any, any hormone that is um, uh, personalized for the patient, depending on the root cause of the problem. We do exercise with oxygen therapy as well as a stem cell enhancement formula. And then in every case, especially with erectile dysfunction, because there can be such a huge element, a psychological and emotional element, uh, and in every case of stem cell treatment with, uh, at our clinic, we will address um, uh, these aspects, the mental, emotional, as well as spiritual aspect of well-being in order to have the best, uh, best results. So uh, that is definitely worthwhile adding uh, to uh, before we finish. It's interesting that you mentioned the comprehensive approach because that will be the topic for our next podcast. So please don't miss it. Um, doctor will explain uh, everything she does before the patient comes, um, everything she does 
during the visit of the patient uh, in all the follow-ups. So, doctor, I really appreciate your time, and I wish you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Louise. It's always a pleasure. You have a beautiful day yourself. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for listening. In case you have any questions, please visit our website, stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Or you may send us an email to info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. If you want to contact us from North America, you may dial plus one two zero nine six nine zero seven eight three six. If you want to send us a message through WhatsApp, please add us at plus five zero two four two two zero seven two nine seven. And this is how you find us on our social media. On Facebook, Stem Cell Healing Institute. On Instagram, Stem Cell HI. On Spotify, Stem Cell Healing Institute. On YouTube, Stem Cell Healing Institute. We hope to hear from you. Thank you.